Hi guys, this is Axon. So I just want to demonstrate a navigation on Android Pilot using another simulation software. So you can actually show everything that's happening in another simulation software on Android Pilot by connecting the ports. So you're going to use Mavlink. So let me just start up and look at how the navigation will be exactly the same to be exactly the same as an Android Pilot. So take off. I'm using the mouse, by the way, so I'm not having a joystick. Right? And just look at this. Isn't this incredible? Let me just take off. Yeah, that's smooth. Okay, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it and just show you something else. So what's happening here is when you come to simulation, and then you're going to connect you're going to choose what you want. For instance, we're using the explain software. We've chosen explain and we choose our plane. And for a drone, you can choose a drone. And what happens, you can also use um, your, you can use your program that you've written. For instance, you can use drone kit with Python to, and you can uh, create waypoints, flight plan here. And then you can test your waypoints there with your uh, code that you've written. So it depends on what you want to do. So for, again, what you're seeing here, never forget to arm your, your motor and you can set your mood here if you want to, um, for instance, you put it on autopilot and follow the waypoints that you have already put in. So what happened here, I'll show you something. I, if I disconnect and connect again, you're going to see that I'm going to put the IP. So it's connecting my link. It asked me for the IP address here and I had to put an, a remote port which I was using to uh, communicate the commands and send the packages. So uh, if you go back to the uh, software application here, you also get to, um, let me just go back, sorry. So you get to see that we send data, we're actually sending data over the IP address here and uh, on, on the port and also on the network UDP ports. We, we've got our own uh, unique ports, we're supposed to, unique ports which we're supposed to uh, receive data and send data on. So that's how this thing works. It's quite cool, you know.